Good afternoon, trainers. We have breaking news. If you or a loved one are in the Victory Road area, it is recommended for you to get as far away from there as possible, even if you've already solved all those rock puzzles. A small, walking, blazing inferno has been spotted, causing trainers' Pokemon to faint. Pull yourself up in a safe space when you hear this sound. Want a route? Pokemon! Time to make the Elite Four look as easy as Connect Four. Red turned blue the moment he walked into the first arena. Standing across from him was the coldest woman of them all, Lorelei. Lorelei runs the number one ice cube making business in the entire world. She's single handedly stopping global warming and making sure your McDonald's sodas taste like water after a few minutes. Unfortunately, Ice was quite literally the worst possible matchup for the bundle of pure rage coming at her. Well, it looks like those water and ice types are just water types now. Up next is Whoa, look at those muscles on that man. He could probably chop an onyx into pieces just from looking at it. If he grated cheese on his abs, the cheese would probably turn into dust. If Goku ever needed a training partner, he would ditch Vegeta for him immediately. Godzilla might start beef with King Kong, but not Bruno. This isn't your typical music artist. The 24 karat magic must be what he makes with those biceps. If you use water type Pokemon, you can mistake him for Meku Tsunami's dad. He would make Dwayne Johnson look like a pebble. Not even the dictionary is as defined as his muscles. Wait, what happened? He lost? Well, I guess we know why he has such huge muscles. He was trying to hide his less than stellar Pokemon skills. Next up was Agatha, the ghost trainer. She talked about how terrible a device the Pokedex is. All it has done is create Red into this wrecking ball of emotion he is now. She wanted to show Red how horrible of a device it truly can't be. But Red already knows the horrors of this device. It's what killed Normal the Snorlax, after all. Agatha is a ghost-type trainer, which means Normal would have taken care of her easily with a move like Shadow Ball. But that was in the past. Red needed to use what he had in order to reach Mewtwo. Agatha was down to her strongest Pokemon, a Gengar who probably died around the same time that she should have. Red was in a rough spot and knew that someone was going to die. Fizero was up front and went down so Water could finish Agatha off. Fizero was one of the strongest Red still had and we won several gems with. Agatha cackled at Red, saying that if he continues down this path with the Pokedex, he will be humbled much more than this someday. Red was too focused on finishing his mission to care what she had to say. The final member of the Elite Four, a Final Fantasy Dragoon, the Seto Kaiba of Pokemon, the Dragon Tamer Lance. And to show off how good he was at taming dragons, he threw out a Gyarados, an Aerodactyl, and three Pokemon from the same family. All of his Pokemon were brimming with confidence, just like him. Unfortunately for Red, one of those family members was the Great Dragonite. The only real hope to take it down was to get Water Zero to use Ice Beam. So Water, the second longest standing member of the team, had to sacrifice itself just like Fly Zero did for it. Lance had been defeated. And so Red had defeated the Elite Four and reached the next step of his goal. Lance told Red there was a champion who had just defeated him, and told Red he had little chance of beating him. The first champion had the most energetic and fun team Lance had ever seen. Each had their own personality with great love for their trainer. Red's team was robots instructed with the task of only winning Pokemon battles. There was no love, no emotion, no fun. He sure was talking a lot for someone who lost to both of them. Blue took in the scent of the Pokemon Tower when Red walked in the room. His nose told him about Red being down two Pokemon. All he had to do was win a 4v6. But Blue didn't want to win just, just because he didn't want to lose his title as champion. It's hard to get through to people, you know? Nobody is as talented as you are. You can't come to understand the struggles I deal with. So many Pokemon. So many smells. It's overwhelming. I've seen over 140 kinds. Even you've only seen what, like 40? <laughs> it's an awful addiction, but there's something I found out from my grandpa. Mewtwo has the ability to help people out with different afflictions. That's why I tried so hard to become champion, so I could see Mewtwo and have him cure my addiction to sun everything. All I gotta do is finally take you down. Backup takes care of Pidgeot since it wasn't able to pay enough attention. Water Zero takes out Rhydon since it wasn't smart enough to realize it can't fight against water. Fire dealt with Executor with ease since it did end up being as stupid as it looked. 
the leader of the team decided to step up. He thought it would be smart to set up a rain dance so he could carry the rest of the fight. It looked like it was the correct move at first since he was able to cut down Water Zero and lower Red's Pokemon to 3. But he completely forgot about backup. This is why Red taught him Thunder. The leader goes down, and the rest of the ship would follow. Alakazam once again proved that it's an overrated Pokemon when it got destroyed by a backup. And sure, Arcanine was able to take out backup and leave Red with only two Pokemon, but it was already too late. Of course, Fire had to finish what he started, and ended it. Blue was disappointed, but knew he could still come back from this better than ever. Then his grandpa showed up. Oak mocked his own grandson and belittled him. This is why Oak chose Red to be his true successor. Having no emotion allows Red to focus on what's really important, winning. He doesn't need to build bonds, he has no tolerance for Pokemon acting out. This way they can do their jobs as tools, and it succeeded. Oak went over to Red, excited. Finally his plan to take over the region had come to fruition, but Oak himself started to tremble. Red wasn't emotionless on this trip here. He was still pissed off about losing normal. Red wasn't going to let Oak control the region. He didn't care about that kind of thing. Power is worthless to him. All he wanted to do was be the strongest. That's why he wanted Mewtwo. Red needed to fill out his team. He decided he was never going to let his tools break again. He went back to Cinnabar Island to bring Kabutu to life as his new water type. He needed three more pieces now. It was time to grab some tools worthy of a champion. The team was complete. He caught all the legendary birds and his goal of catching Mewtwo had been reached. Now that he had Mewtwo, it was time to finally try and understand what made Mewtwo so strong, and to understand how strong he can be. Red was also hoping Mewtwo could lead him to where the successful test subject was. But for now, the one place he would go to rest up was his favorite pizzeria. <laughs>